Mr Burns is a live theatrical event that breaks down the divide between low and high art. Part musical, part mythic mashup. This form-busting extravaganza is an international hit which revolves around pop music, storytelling, pop culture and of course The Simpsons. Actors Anna Scottney and Byron Cole join us right now to tell us all about it. Good morning guys. Hi. Hi. Really nice to have you here. Okay, who wants to start? Anna, actually you can start. Okay. What, what is it about? What on earth is this show? Well, I feel like you just gave a pretty succinct summary of this. You have to develop a <laughs> <laughs> How's it work? Um, so basically, Mr. Burns is a play which was written by an amazing uh, contemporary playwright called Anne Washburn. So um, it's about pop culture. It's about uh, what happens when a story, the story of an episode of The Simpsons called Cape Fear, is pushed past the fall of civilization. So it sort of explores themes of um, humanity. What are the stories that bind us? What are the things that would survive? Were there to be no electricity? Were, you know, were, if our world were to sort of disintegrate around us? And then from the ashes rises this episode of The Simpsons called Cape Fear, which is based on the movie by Cape Fear, which is based on a book. I remember that. I remember that episode. Yeah. So that's what you're within, working within, with. Within, okay. within, yeah. within, within, within. It's <laughs> like Inception, but of Simpsons, the apocalypse, mm. Cape Fear. <laughs> I'm curious about this term mythic mashup. Is that a way of explaining what you've just said to us? Or what does that mean? Well, I, I suppose if you look at uh, the structure of the play, it's, it's in three acts. So there's act one, which is very realistic and naturalistic. It's, it's seven, uh, two weeks after a, uh, an event that has um, plagued the world. And then the second act turns into sort of more of a cartoonish world where it's seven years on from this event that has happened and you're following a group of people um, who have been traumatized by this specific event um, and then the third act goes into a uh, a place where it's about 95 years after this event and it's about it's almost like if you could imagine uh, a story that your mum told you and it Chinese whispered Mm. All the mm -hmm. way over to 95 years later, the the, the um, what the story is sort of yeah the element into across that time yeah are a lot different, um, and so you remember specific things, and the the major things that you remember are, are images, and so the Simpsons for us in this play um, become these bigger than life characters, and naturally they become almost a reverential um, sort of iconography um, yeah. for. A lot of the show, a little bit that we godlike. Do. Yeah, yes. very yeah. godlike. That sounds really interesting. <laughs> um, also, it's part musical as well, isn't it? So yes. you've got pop songs. Are they pop songs that we know, or are they Definitely. Queen you made up? Yes, Queen. There are pop songs you will know. Are you a fan of Lady Gaga? Yes. Potentially. Yes. I mean, no spoilers, but <laughs> there might be. <laughs> may or may not be match. Lady Gaga in there. Okay, yeah. gotcha. May, may, may or may not be. So I'm curious, is, is it something, is it a bit of a lesson about what stories and mythologies we, we want to keep alive? It, is that what you're going for here? It, it, yeah, it, it, it totally uh, clicks into that, but it also um, talks about how, um, how stories evolve and keep people together mm. in such an event. Like, for example, the Christchurch earthquakes, mm -hmm. which was a traumatic time for a lot of people. Um, I bet there were a lot of stories that came through there um, that held people together when they were afraid, their nerves were afraid, mm. and so it, it, it really brings a lot of people together. Yeah, sort of about um, the stories that we need. What are the things that, you know, what are the stories that sort of regardless of your race, regardless of your creed, your sexuality, mm -hmm. what are the stories that we can all kind of relate to um, and bond around? And so for the group that were originally making this play, this play was made in New York in a vault mm -hmm. uh, under Wall Street, so kind of an interesting place to conceptualise this wild ride of a show. Yeah. Um, the, the, the story that they collectively came around was, was The Simpsons. Mm. That's, yeah. it's, it's, I'm, just, I'm just trying to picture it in my head. So what characters do you guys play? Do you play specific characters or does it change or how does that work? Because it's a sort of three-act structure, we, we, we change a lot. <laughs> and because of the years that have gone past, like it's two weeks from a, yeah. an event, seven years and then 95 years and so we all get turns at playing different Simpsons characters but mm. they are so wacky and so different from what you would imagine the Simpsons, um, the to, Simpsons be. to be like which is on TV. We've sort of tried to forecast ahead okay so how would 
how would people living in a post-electric society, how would they imagine The Simpsons? What would that morph into when you haven't had a reference point of an episode of The Simpsons for like, yeah, for 75 years? Wow. So how has it been received that. overseas? Because you mentioned New York and I think it's been in London as well. And what, Australia as and well. And Australia. What, yes. do, what do people say? Um, a lot of the reviews uh, say that this is like an actors, like actors really love this show because mm -hmm. it just has so much texture to it. Because, like I say, I keep saying this, but the three act structure, mm. it, it, there's different forms to each act, and so you really get a good grasp at playing these different types. You get of to do lots textures. of actoring, don't you? Yeah, you, there's you a lot do of, some hardcore actoring. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there's a cappella songs. There's there's iconography. So you're playing big and operatic, and then you're playing uber naturalism. So it's wow, really cool. cool. And just finally, can either of you do Simpsons voices? Do you have to do them for the show? <laughs> uh, luckily, no. Um, but can because you do a voice? Because they are so iconic, aren't they? Yeah. Can you try um, a little tiny, tiny? No, oh, come on, no, come you on. Don't worry. Tiny, tiny, tiny. We play, uh, we play FBI agents. Mr. So, Simpson. Yeah, everything is a little bit like this. Boom. <laughs> And that's how we're going to end it too. Hey, thanks, guys. It sounds really, really intriguing. Cool. Mr Burns, a post-electric play, is at Auckland's Q Theatre from Thursday until September 29th. And you can check out the Q Theatre website for ticket details.